Hello students, we already learned that the sun is a luminous body and the earth and the moon is a non-luminous body. The earth and the moon only becomes visible when the light of the sun after striking reaches us. Right? And we also know that the earth moves around the sun and the moon moves around the earth. And we also know that the size of the sun is much bigger than earth and the earth is bigger than the moon. So, at times, the sun, the earth and the moon comes in a straight line. So, the earth or the moon which comes between casts a shadow to form an eclipse. If the earth is coming in between the sun and the moon, then that eclipse is called as lunar eclipse. When lunar eclipse happens? When the earth comes between the sun and the moon. Sun and the moon, then it forms what a lunar eclipse. Usually lunar eclipse happens in a full moon day. Full moon day. So, these are the main things which we have to know down about lunar eclipse. So, what is, when does lunar eclipse happens? When the earth comes between the sun and the moon and it usually happens on the full moon day. So, the next one is the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. So, right now itself I think you can say what is a solar eclipse or when does solar eclipse happens. It's very easy when the moon cast a shadow, when the moon cast the shadow on the surface of earth, shadow on the surface of earth, we can say that it forms a solar eclipse. And basically solar eclipse happens on a new moon day, new moon day. So, this is why we are not able to see moon on a new moon day because as per solar eclipse, the sun, the moon and the earth comes on a straight line. So, which means it's a new moon day so that it is not possible for us to see moon because the size of the sun and the earth is bigger than the moon and moon comes in between the sun and the earth. That is what? solar eclipses.